Hey guys, uh, day four on the footings, three and a half if you count the first day as being a bit of an half day. Um, it is quarter past that, quarter past eight, and we've got boards loaded, got one dot on, like I said, we're going to do. We've got enough block for this middle wall and a few for another course of there, so I only need to load three courses of that out, so that's only about 45 blocks, and I've got enough there to do it. And then I've only got that to load out later, probably after snap. Uh, probably one two o'clock load that out and build that and uh, should be done today but this is like the time early, i've not even arrived at this time rest of the week so this is the earliest i've actually started laying so this is to just give you an idea of what i get done in a day from board set up four boards gobble full two buckets on each and then I'll work away i'm going to be doing a time stamp again today uh, no recording because i want to listen to my music again so all right guys until i get my gopro in a few weeks it's just going to be like this for a few videos so all right guys hey guys how are you here part four on the footings welcome to another britlane vlog so this is this is day four about three and a half days i've spent total on these footings um little bit of a spoiler before you watch the rest of the video i didn't end up getting the bay done i got everything else done by the bay so i've got like 50 or so blocks to lay on monday um so that'll be, you know, about half a day's work roughly. I'm going to take it steady because I'm on holiday on, on Thursday, Friday. I'm not at work. So uh, then I'm coming back on the Saturday. Uh, so uh, that'll be nice to have a weekend at home and actually go on holiday. You know, we're only going to Blackpool, but it'll be just a nice little break, you know. Obviously, there's no way you can really fucking travel without paying through the teeth at the moment for all this COVID shit. So anyway... Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about how to improve and not just not just with like certain methods or techniques, but just how to improve in general, uh, whether that's, you know, your speed, quality, you know, your working happiness, you know, your working, uh, you know, how to improve your working life. Uh, obviously, when it comes to Brit Lane, I'm not a fucking guru of all fucking walks of life. I'm just Brit Lane. So, oh, by the way, using the ox level here, the nice blue ox level. I love the colour of it, to be honest. Fucking fantastic, nice blue colour, Match, matches my shorts, and it's absolutely, you know, sturdy as hell. Best level I've ever bought for 34 quid. So, yeah. Anyway, first thing I'm going to talk about when it comes to improving. Um, something that phew, I've been searching for this fucking answer for years, and how to improve and how to get better is by changing something. It's it's the weirdest thing, you know, if you're ever frustrated, if you're ever like, oh, I'm not earning enough money, or this isn't working, or why why is it not going the way I want it to? It normally means you need to change something. And it's always, everything everything in life's revolved around this. If something's not going right, you've got to change something. If you're fucking gas billing right, if you're fucking electric billing right, you've got to change gas supplier, you've got to change energy supplier. Same with, you know, same with your fucking broadband. If that's not fucking the price it right, you've got to switch. And that is, that is, you know, I know it sounds fucking what you're on about, but, you know, you have got to change something, you know. Well, that's the way you work, the way you approach your work, the gang, your gang you're in. It doesn't matter how long you've been working with them, if you're fucking happy, move on. Move on to, you know, if you're not happy with what you're earning or you maybe you're happy with what you're earning, but you think you might be able to do a bit better, you know. A bigger labour and a bigger work on your own, you know. Take that responsibility, take that plunge. You know, not everyone wants to, you know, work on their own, I understand. Um, but I've spent years and years working with people that don't aren't suited to my style of working. I've worked with people for years telling me that I ought to do it in this certain way. And to be quite honest, I'm you know I've been you know, I've been looked I've been looked at over the years as being a bit fucking eccentric with the ways I work. Or a bit fucking weird or a bit you know, strange or whatever. But it suits me. And this is the thing. You haven't got to fit into a fucking mould of the normal way that, you know, you know, an old Brit layer tells you you've got to work or your mentor told you you've got to work or the person who taught you as an apprentice or, you know, or the, whoever fucking Joe Wogs on site says you need to work. You work how you want to work. And that's the one thing that I've changed the way I, that, you know, I've changed over the past two or three years that me and me old man have worked together we've decided we don't like fucking getting up early so we get to site after eight hence the channel that channel name after eight bricky 
we don't like getting there at the fucking crack of dawn. We can't fucking, you know, we don't feel, we don't feel good getting up at fucking six in the morning. We want to get up at seven, set off at half seven and get there at eight, quarter past eight, half eight, quarter to nine, you know, and we work better that way. And that's one thing that's took me fucking years. People laugh at me all the time. They go, Harry, oh, fucking after, after nine, after 10, you know, after eight, oh, fucking hell, you just got here. And I say, yeah, but I've got more done than you have. You know what I mean? I'll, you know, I'll lay, more, I'll lay more bricks, I'll get more work done. And I might do the same amount of hours, but I'll do them to fucking whenever I feel like doing them. Do you know what I mean? So this is one thing that, you know, it, it still pisses me off to the day. I know I still get the comments on site, you know, oh, you're working on your own, mate. Oh, you're doing this, mate. You're doing that. And I say, fucking am. Uh, and I'm doing it pretty well. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, it's something you've got to stick to. You've got to stick to what suits you. You've got to change the way you work for the better to suit the individual. We're all different. We all prefer different things. Um, this is why I'm a big believer that, you know, you can't beat one-on-one. -on -one. You can't beat your own decisions. Um, it's very rare you're going to find someone that you'll work with fucking perfectly, efficiently, absolutely but you know it'll, everything will room absolutely smoothly it's probably easier finding your fucking the, the woman you're going to marry than finding someone you could work with it's probably easier you've probably got to almost be married to them do you know what I mean to find someone who you're super efficient at working with uh, but at the end of the day you've got to do what suits yourself and uh, this is one thing that you know for instance this is, a, this is an example it's just a small example but an example nevertheless Boundary walls, built fucking loads of them. And I like building corners, but is it the fastest way? Can I build them a bit faster? And I kept asking myself that. And I thought, yeah, I can, I can do that, I can. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna change something. Set profiles up, I did that profile method on the boundary wall. I still end up building corners in some parts. You can't get away from that. Uh, but I changed one aspect of how I built the wall. And that aspect, how I built it, it sped me up. It sped me up by about, I reckon, that day it spent me up by about 100 bricks maybe 75 maybe 50 but you know you can't get away from that's an extra what if it's 50 bricks 20 25 quid 26 27 quid 30 quid max maybe but that 30 quid that i earned extra that day by changing something if you change something every day for the better you know 30 times 5 150 quid there you've earned, you've earned 150 quid more in a day, you know, in a week, from just changing the way you work. And, you know, it might always work. There'll be some, obviously, everyone knows, bricklaying, you have your good days, you have your bad days, there's no getting away from it. It's just like, and it's just like a fucking law, it's just like the law of bricklaying. You can never tell what's going to happen. No matter how hard you work sometimes, you just don't go your way. But every little step you take towards getting a little bit faster, a little bit better, a little bit more accurate, a little bit more efficient, because at the end of the day, it's not about being fast, it's about being efficient. And people are saying, oh God, I'm so fast, I can get them down this quick, that quick. But if you're inefficient with it, you're relying on pure stamina. And then that now brings me into my next point. Let's talk about fitness when it comes to Brit Lane. Obviously, you watch my videos, you can see I'm not the fucking leanest of blokes. Um, I've been powerlifting 10 years, I've been going to the gym ever since I was 15. Uh, I'm 26 next month, so, um, sorry, no, I've been going to the gym ever since I was, uh, yeah, 15, sorry, so I'm 26 next month, that's 11 years I've spent uh, in gyms and stuff, and I've had my own gym for the past six years in my garage, uh, I've spent, you know, tons of time working out, I've done loads of running, um, I was training for army at one point, but I, I, obviously I didn't follow through with that. I didn't pass one of the uh, medical exams. My eyes are fucking terrible. So they just fucking ripped me off there from what I wanted to do. So uh, anyway, enough about that. Um, so basically, fitness. And when it comes to lane breaks and keeping your speed up, everyone can go fast. Everyone can lay fast at one point or another. But the key to becoming, you know, fast and getting more done over a full day is being able to keep that speed up. And this is what I've watched and I've learnt from multiple 
fast split layers that I've seen over the years, you know, they are few and far between. You might only see one or two in the whole time you go through traveling through sites. You'll see this one fast brick layer and you'll think, wow, the fuck's he doing it? And you'll think, well, he's not going that fast right, th right then and there where I'm looking at him. But the point of the matter is, it's consistently fast. And that's one thing that you can build with stamina, fitness and efficiency. So if you can learn to be fit and efficient and fast and be able to keep your stamina and keep your speed up for them amount of time, for, you know, six, seven hours at a time, say, you know, Say you do an eight hour, nine hour day if you're really pushing the hours. Some people do 10. I've seen I've heard people doing 10 hours. Um, but even if you do eight hours in a day laying bricks, you know, have an hour snap or whatever, you'll be working from, you know, you'll be working to five o'clock doing that. You'll be working seven well five to do uh, 10 hours. So if you have an hour snap, that'll be nine, nine hours, nine, eight and a half hours laying. So you'll be really, you'll be last on site, first day, et cetera really push the envelope but if you can learn to keep your efficient you know you keep your stamina up and keep your efficiency up for extended periods you know you'll lay more bricks every day consistently and that's become and that you know the speed will come in time obviously it takes years and years to develop speed my speed isn't anywhere near, near where it could be you know i'm still relatively slow i get a little bit faster every day i get a little bit more efficient every day and um you know i'm trying to increase my fitness a little bit every day whether that's eating a one less fucking chocolate bar if that's eat, drinking one less beer on a, on a weekend uh you know all little things i've obviously been a lot leaner in the in the brick lane game obviously in the last few years i was a lot leaner two years ago but did i get anything did i get any more done no not on average i get more done now because i'm more efficient more measured you know, more, you know, I make better use of my time. But did I have better uh, stamina? Yes, I had a little bit better stamina. Um, but if I use the same efficiency and the same, um, you know, level of, you know, insight that I use now, I'll be, I'd, have, I'd, I'd be able to keep it up a lot longer if I was fit, if I was a bit fitter. So that is one of the biggest things I'm going to be working on. In this next year, while well, I've got this YouTube channel, obviously I don't have a plan on quitting it, um, but I'm gonna, you know, I want to stick at it. You know, I want to try and make somewhat of a semi hobby slash, you know, secondary, uh, you know, se secondary tiny source of income that you'll get from monetization at this such small level of channel. But it does give me motivation to keep going to work, to keep making these videos, to keep getting them down. Uh, so it is a secondary, you know, the secondary effect from making the videos is helps me the primary reason I go to work. So I'm going to try to get a bit fitter. I'm going to try to lose a little bit of weight, as you can see. Um, you know, got a bit of a belly on me. Can't get away from that. And I do need to, you know, I am lugging that weight around with me. I'm, obviously, I've got quite a lot of muscle on me. Uh, but I've got also quite a bit of fat on me as well. And that doesn't help things because obviously muscle, you can't burn muscle off. Uh, as easy as you can fat but you know obviously muscle's heavy so if you've got a lot of muscle you don't want to be holding any fat because you're going to be heavy as it is with the muscle weighing more so it's one thing I've, i'm going to try to get to around 100 kilo again i am about 118 119 kilo uh, probably 117 on a good day if i've been grafting but if i could drop 17 kilo that'd be like dropping one of these blocks off my back I'm carrying one of these blocks around me every day, being 120 kilo, 118, 117 kilo. But if I could drop on, uh, you know, 20 kilo, that think how much quicker I'd get with my hand movements, my foot movements, my you know pick and dip movements. There'd be all little percentages of increase of speed, but they all add up over the you know over the time. If you look at any fast, uh, look at any fast bit layers on YouTube. Uh, I know I know a guy called. Um, there's a guy who does the pick and dip really quick, Kurt Mal passes something. He doesn't really make videos, but I've seen his a few videos on on these Facebook video uh, Facebook groups on Facebook. He does pick and dip really fast. He's like a rake. You know what I mean? There's not a lot on him. Um, I bet he doesn't weigh over 13, 14 stone. Um, and that is sort of the build you want. Look at Charlie Collinson again. Looks like a bobblehead. Is it? You know, he's, he's he's small. You know what I mean? He's a small guy. I remember when I think he used to do boxing. I don't know what 
what weight he was in. Was he a middleweight? You know, what, 180, 183 pounds or something like that. Um, you know, small guys, I weigh north of 260. So, you know, I'm carrying 60 pounds too much, really. You know what I mean? I want to be, I really want to be, you know, 220, 210, maybe. But I'd be probably, you know, I've not been lower than 220 in a long time. So if I could get to 220, fucking hell, I'd be, I'd be loving life. I'd feel I was fittest I ever was. You know, I could run a, I could run a seven and a half minute mile and a half when I was, when I was uh, ninety three kilo, which is two oh five. Um, so I used to be real. I'm a really good runner, but it's one thing that's limited me is my weight. I tend to have a lot of muscle. I've built it up over ten years, and it's fucking hard to get rid of. Hundred percent natural. I've never touched an anabolic in my life or any sort of steroid or performance enhancer. So natural muscle is hard to get rid of. Once you've got it, you've got it for life, basically. If you eat well, eat plenty of meat, plenty of protein, plenty of carbs, plenty of fat, you're not gonna get, it's not gonna melt away. Even with, with it, especially with this job, bricklaying, you, you're always lifting, you're stimulating your muscles one way or another, shoulder muscles, arm muscle, forearm, legs. You don't, you forget once you pick two brick clamps up, you, you're carrying that weight on your legs as well. So you're doing a squat, a semi-half squat every time. You're squatting down to, you know, you're moving around, body weight squatting all the time. It's, uh, you know, a spinal erector's getting pumped every time you're bending over with a block or a brick, you know. You, it's a full body workout, brick lane, so, you know, if you've got a lot of muscle naturally, you're going to retain it, and it's hard, and, you know, and it does weigh you down if, you, if you're too big, so. That's one of the things I'm going to improve on. Uh, that's going to this that's gonna be this video in a nutshell. I'm going to talk about... Um, Improving in speed and fitness, that's going to be the title, I think. Uh, so we're getting to the last block we're putting on here, so we're coming up to the last clip. I'm going to drink the rest of this can, I've got one more. And my two new kittens that we got, we got another two, we've got two cats so, so far, but i got another two kittens at weekend. Uh, Mrs. wanted a dog, but I said no, we'll get cats instead, because I just couldn't handle a dog. Cats are lovely, and I'm, to be honest, I'm not a dog person. So uh, we've got another two kittens, and they're clawing me back. But one of them who's playing with me here. But one of them here who's this one? Hello. And that other one's watching me. And then other cats, they're friends with him now, so buzzing about that. So yeah, um, that's the video. Uh, I'm gonna go back to check-ins. You're gonna get my on-site real-time opinion of the of the week. Uh, I got about 518 blocks in. If you wanna be specific, that's what I laid this week. Um, to the block. Uh, we don't, you know, you know, I just count my measure on these. We don't get like a a foot in price. You know, some people they they prefer to work on like a price per, you know, seven fifty or whatever, and you get so much per seventy five mil after that. But you know, we work on just measure. You can't beat measure. It's it's in front of you. It's there. You can count it. It's physical. I prefer to work on measure. To be honest, even when I'm building houses, counting the measure, you can't go wrong. If you're getting a price and it's better than the measure. It's a bit of a bonus you're getting something for free but you know that's it um we, we did three and a half days on this we did a day a day works so we had to go to another site on tuesday and do quite a lot of alterations to be honest we get quite a bit done in a day when we get me and my old man get sent with all those fucking power tools fucking cutting and drilling shit so anyway guys i'm gonna uh, get on with the rest of the video and i thank you very much for watching uh subscribe like and uh, hit the notification bell and enjoy the check. So, a bit windy, nice and cool for once. So, middle wall's up, got a rack at the front to get in because there's access is literally that. That's his access. We can't we can't get round there, we can't get round here because it's all that's you know public area. So, we've got one access route here. So, really, we should have had gear on all four corners. But we've had to bump everything over the over the wall. Got a couple of packs in when we start, and that's it. So it's been not ideal. But we made it work. So it's now is the time is five to ten. So now we're forty-five. It took me to get that up. I'm gonna build these racks now. Fill these in. Build the rack back. Fill that in. Build the rack back there. And, we're, and then by that time. I ain't got much more to left. So that's bottom of the tub there where my, where my shovel is. So as you can see, we've probably got enough to run a couple of course in. I'm going to build racks first, then bump out. 
normally usually gobble up and that'll get us to about half eleven, I reckon. Maybe maybe twelve o'clock. Be ready for some snap by then. And then I'll drag this, I'll empty this, I'll make sure I knock this out and drag it to the compound because I need a massive one. Because when I've when I've used this I'm gonna fill another one right up like I did this morning. You can see it right at the top here. So what a fucking day, eh? So it's fucking ten past one. Bit of a late check-in, but well, we've got these racks up. So I've got gear here. Got a right palaver trying to get fucking gear. Fucking loading everything from there. Where that pack is, everything's been loaded from there. Finally got them to wrap my pack in middle. Suddenly they moved all this code for me. When I fucking complain. And uh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this in. Smash this in now, only four course, a couple of bots to fill in. Fill that in before we go. And then just fucking fill this bay in. Get this bay round at the top. And uh, I've got more or less all blocks there. I've got blocks there for that. That's fill in. So we'll go up, it's quarter past, like I say, quarter past, quarter past one now. See where we are in two hours, quarter past three. See if we've got this up. See if we've got that up. Uh, go from there. Three and a half days. It's just got our four of Friday. You know, struck a struck happy medium there. So I'm gonna do a voiceover anyway when I get in. Thanks for watching.